Hi everyone! In this video, we will show you how to create a droplet with Plesk on DigitalOcean and access Plesk interface using an SSH key. First of all, let's create a droplet with Plesk at DigitalOcean Marketplace. Here we can select the characteristics of your server instance, like operation system, amount of memory, disk space, type of process that are included in different plans. Also, we can add some additional dry volume and select a data center that suits our needs either near us or our customers. Next, we need to select an authentication method. In this video, we use an SSH key for authentication. If you would prefer to create a root account password instead, please watch the video linked to this episode describing this particular method. You may either have already created a public SSH key or have never created it before. Let's take a look at both cases. Click New SSH Key. The Add Public SSH Key interface will appear. There is some helpful instruction on the right side of the window. If you have already created a public SSH key once, there is a method uh, to check it. Copy the command from the section Add the public key and paste it into the terminal. We can see that we already have a public SSH key. Let's copy it and paste it back into the SSH key content field. We need to give a name to our key and click Add SSH key. The key has been added. If you don't have already an SSH key, let's generate one. Click New SSH key. Copy the command from the instructor on the right side of the window and paste it into the terminal. Confirm the file name to save the key. Enter a passphrase and confirm it. The key has been generated. According to our instruction, to see the key we need to run the cat id underscore rsa.pub command in the terminal. We can see the key, let's copy it and paste it back into the SSH key content field. We need to give a name to our key and click Add SSH key. The key has been added. Let's select it and proceed further with creating a droplet. We will keep the default host name and click Create Droplet. DigitalOcean will begin provisioning our new server. When it's ready, the server's IP address will appear instead of the progress bar. Copy the IP address, we will need it to log in to our server.
from your terminal application, let's enter ssh space root add and then the IP address of the server. We get an authentication request and now we need to type yes. Enter the passphrase that we've entered while creating an SSH key. The server will respond with a greeting message. We've successfully logged in to our server, now let's log in to Plesk UI. Type Plesk login command into the terminal to generate a magic link. There are two generated links, one includes a host name and another one includes an IP address. We will copy the first link and paste it into our browser. If your hostname is not resolved for some reason, you can use the link with the IP address to access Plesk. We need to configure the admin account now. Let's enter our contact information. At this step, we also need to enter a password for Plesk admin user. From now on, we will use this login and password to access Plesk UI. Wait for Plesk to complete initializing, it will not take long. Congratulations, our Plesk is ready now. Here you can quickly create your first website or you can skip it and explore Plesk. We recommend you configure DigitalOcean DNS extension. It will help you to quickly and safely set up a name server in Plesk. Watch the video in the link above to learn how to do that. We also recommend that you install available product updates. This will ensure your new server is up to date and secure. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.